Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what temporal lobe epilepsy is, what the temporal lobe does, its substructures, symptoms, and treatment options. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. Temporal lobe epilepsy is epilepsy that starts at the temporal lobes. The human brain has a left and right temporal lobe. According to Cleveland Clinic, temporal lobe epilepsy is the most common localized or focal type of epilepsy. About 60% of people with temporal lobe epilepsy have focal seizures. Temporal lobe epilepsy is the most common form of epilepsy. There are two types of temporal lobe epilepsy. They are mesio or near the middle temporal lobe epilepsy. Around 80% of temporal lobe seizures start in the mesio temporal lobe. The seizures often start near the hippocampus. Part of the hippocampus is in the left temporal lobe, while the other half is in the right temporal lobe. Near a cortical or lateral temporal lobe epilepsy. Seizures start in the outer section of the temporal lobe. This type is very rare, usually the result of genetic causes, lesions, tumor, birth defect, blood vessel abnormalities, or other abnormalities. Each temporal lobe has different functions. The left temporal lobe, most dominant in people, people who are right-handed, is associated with understanding language, learning, memorizing, forming speech, and remembering verbal information. The right temporal lobe, least dominant in people, people who are left-handed, is associated with learning and memorizing nonverbal information, such as drawings and music, recognizing information, and determining facial expressions. The temporal lobes interact with other regions of the brain, as well as sensory input from the environment. Our temporal lobes help us in communication when someone talks to us by making sense of language. The temporal lobes are vital for declarative memory and long-term memory. The temporal lobe is divided into substructures, each playing their own role. The substructures are superior temporal gyrus, vital for auditory processing, processing language, involved in social cognition and emotions of facial expressions, middle temporal gyrus, language and somatic memory processing, multimodal sensory integration, inferior temporal gyrus, important for object vision, is likely involved in determining the relevance of objects to behavior and nonverbal communication, face recognition, and navigating the environment. Auditory cortex processes auditory information is essential for the ability to switch languages. Limbic system processes or regulates emotions, memory, motivation includes the hippocampus, which manages the functions of feeling and reacting. The amygdala, another part of the limbic system, is the emotional center of the brain. It processes emotions, fear, and the fight or flight response. Wernicke's area, important for language development, comprehension of speech, giving meaning to speech, and written words. Some people experience auras or warnings before having a seizure. Not everyone experiences auras. For those who do, here are common auras many experience. For focal aware seizures, deja vu, sudden sense of fear, panic or anxiety, anger, sadness or joy, a rising sick feeling in your stomach, altered sense of hearing, sight, smell, taste or touch, for focal impaired awareness seizures, staring into space or a blank stare, repetitive behaviors, movements such as fidgeting, picking motions, excessive blinking, lip smacking, chewing and swallowing, confusion, unusual speech, 
altered ability to respond and communicate with others, and brief loss of ability to speak, read, or comprehend speech. Do you experience auras? If you would like, share what you experience in the comments section below. The following options are available for patients dealing with temporal lobe epilepsy, anticonvulsant medication, ketogenic diet, surgery, laser ablation, stereotactic radiosurgery, vagus nerve stimulator, responsive neurostimulation, and deep brain stimulation. In conclusion, temporal lobe epilepsy is epilepsy that starts in the temporal lobes. There are two types of temporal lobe epilepsy, mesiotemporal lobe epilepsy and neocortical lateral temporal lobe epilepsy. There are two temporal lobes, each having their own specific functions. The substructures of the temporal lobe each play many important roles, such as vision, hearing, cognitive function, and more. There are many different auras one can experience when seizure activity takes place in the temporal lobes. Some people do not experience auras. Medication, keto diet, surgery, and stimulation devices can all be used to help control seizure activity. To learn more about temporal lobe epilepsy, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.